right, today we're going to be working on our Samsung Galaxy Note 4. We're going to go ahead and do the full removal of the front LCD and glass. Um, we recommend a nice little toolkit we carry on our website. The link is in the description below. It contains that nylon black spudger you see right there, a micro Phillips screwdriver. It includes the metal opening pry tool, as well as a microfiber cloth, some double-sided adhesive, alcohol cleaning pads, and a couple more little opening tools and pry tools. So it pretty much contains everything you need. It's under six bucks on our website. We definitely recommend it for this repair, and it'll obviously come in handy in future repairs. Uh, we need to go ahead and use a blow dryer for this repair or a heat gun. Uh, we're using a heat gun obviously, but you will need that to remove the front screen. Alright, so go ahead and use your heat gun. If you have a commercial grade one, I would recommend setting it to about 170, 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, but I like to go ahead and heat up the all the sides, the corners, the edges, and then also the front of the screen. Now the great thing about our repairs is we don't pre-prep these, so you're seeing it as we are actually doing it. Um, this screen has never been removed before, this phone has never been worked on before, so you will see us actually removing the broken screen. Um, and this one actually had a broken LCD, not an actual glass that was broken, so nothing would come up at all. Uh, we couldn't board test it or anything. Uh, we definitely do recommend removing the battery before you do any repairs, but um, we didn't show us doing that. Anyhow, you're going to go ahead and use your metal opening tool once you have a little bit of heat. I like to separate from the top. Be careful when doing this. Uh, I mean, you're not going to really rip any flex cables, but there are two flex cables attached to the board here. And I typically like to actually disconnect those rather than have them lift off from me moving the screen like this. Uh, unfortunately, during this repair, I guess I was trying to do a little bit too fast and they actually did disconnect. Um, if you're having a little hard time, go ahead and use your heat gun or blow dryer, whatever it may be, to heat up the screen a little bit more. Um, make sure that when you do remove your screen, the back of the actual phone where the screen goes back in looks like ours because sometimes the two layers of the screen will separate and if you try and put your brand new screen on the wrong layer it's obviously not going to work uh, but once again you'll see me going going ahead and trying to separate this right here all right one thing i want to notate is at the bottom of the screen um, you actually do have a little flex cable that controls your bottom light buttons so be careful down there you don't want to rip that flex cable i'll kind of point to it a little bit later uh, so definitely don't rush that. You could always rip your home button flex cable as well as the actual buttons that light up the bottom of the screen. Uh, so definitely be careful. Make sure you remove this little gold electrostatic uh, piece with it because that should not stay on there. Uh, try to remove any remnant glass if you have any remnant glass on the screen. Make sure your home button flex cable isn't ripped. Um, and then of course the bottom two little LED lights are still there. Um, these are the two flex cables you're going to plug in on your new screen and I'm going to show you guys that in a second. Alright, so when you buy your new screen it's going to come one of two ways. Either it's going to come like this one right here, that's the stylus flex, it's already attached to the screen, or you might buy it and the stylus flex is a completely separate little piece like this. Um, if you buy it and it doesn't have that stylus flex cable then your stylus won't actually work so you want to make sure that if you end up buying a screen with just one flex cable then you're okay with your stylus flex not working alright alright what I've done here is I've applied our red tape to the top sides bottom and back of the screen uh, we saw this red tape on our website. I recommend the one, one and a half, or two millimeter. Um, if you don't want to use red tape, you can use that little double sided adhesive I just showed you in the bag. Cut it yourself. Um, but I definitely recommend the red tape on our website. It's a much better industrial grade strength tape. It'll hold that screen in. So it's double sided. You want to go ahead and remove the uh, secondary side after you lay it down um, from the back of the housing. Make sure not to cover up your front camera or proximity sensor at the very top. Um, if you cover those up, obviously, your front camera is going to be blurry and your proximity sensor won't work. All 
All right, now that I have all my red tape applied, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install this. That's the easier way with the screen with the Stylus Flex installed. I'm going to show you guys it without the Stylus Flex installed. So you want to go ahead and line up your Stylus Flex with the back of your new screen. If it doesn't have it already installed, obviously, make sure it lines up perfectly. Um, you definitely want to make sure it's on there exactly where it should be. I mean, it'll be pre-cut, so you'll see the lines and everything. And sometimes I'll put some red tape on the back of this as well. There is some on this screen. You'll go ahead and uh, plug in that flex cable first, and then you'll plug in the one on the right, because it's a little bit longer. So if you plug in the one on the right first, it makes it a little bit more difficult. Uh, once those are both snapped in, go ahead and make sure your screen's down. Make sure you put the home button in there properly, because if you misalign that, you could end up cracking your brand new screen. That would be a huge disaster. Go ahead and turn it on. And then sometimes I'll put like a little notebook on top of this or a stack of books just so that the screen has time to set with the adhesive. Um, and there you go. Your Galaxy Note 4 is fixed. Um, make sure to like us on Facebook, comment below, and follow us on uh, YouTube. Thanks, guys.